Across the ocean in the Middle East sits the nation of Israel. The nation itself is approximately the size of New Jersey, yet this nation has played and will continue to play an important role in the history of the world. Throughout the Bible, the Israelites are referred to as God's chosen people. If you are new to the faith, or even if you aren't, you might wonder why did God choose Israel to be his chosen people? I mean, what is so special about Israel that makes them different from any other nation? The term itself might make it seem as if God surveyed all the nations of the earth and said, that is the one I will choose. That is not exactly how it happened, but the fact that they are referred to as God's chosen people forces you to ask the question, why did God choose Israel to be his chosen people? I pray these reasons I share with you will help you understand this a little better. 1. God did not choose a nation, he chose a man. So often when you think of Israel you think in terms of a nation of people, which is what they are now, but that is not what they always were. When you read the book of Genesis, one thing you will notice is that there is no nation of Israel, that is because it did not exist. For a moment, I want you to consider not a nation, but a man. The beginning of God's promise to this nation did not start when they became a nation. It started from one man, Abraham. The Lord had said to Abram, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you I will curse, and all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. Genesis 12 verses 1 to 3. From this promise you see that God did not choose a nation. He chose a man and built a nation from this man. The reason I point this out is because it is not as if God just randomly chose Israel. He made Israel into a great nation and God doing this was a fulfillment of a promise he made to Abraham. This doesn't make Israel more special. It makes God more special because he keeps his promises. The Lord said to Abram after Lot had parted from him, Look around from where you are, to the north and south, to the east and west. All the land that you see I will give to you and your offspring forever. Genesis 13 verses 14 to 15. 2. God needed a group that would represent his character in the earth. One of the reasons why God chose Israel to be his chosen people is because he needed someone to uphold his standards in the earth. One of God's purposes for Israel was that they would be a people who would obey him and keep his covenants. By doing this, they would be God's representatives in the earth. Israel would be a model of God's way of living to the nations around them. If you look at the covenant that was made, it was a conditional covenant. If they decided to forsake God's laws and walk in disobedience, which they often did, they would forfeit many of the blessings and privileges that God offered them. However, the objective remained that God's desire would be for this nation to be a holy nation set apart for his purpose. 3. God needed Christ to come through a lineage and fulfill the prophecy of Genesis. The final point to answer the question of why did God choose Israel, and without a doubt the most important purpose for the nation of Israel, is that God was setting up the lineage for which Jesus would come through. This really is the crux of why God chose Israel to be his chosen people. The coming of Jesus fulfilled a major promise that God made to Abraham that everyone on this planet who is living, who will live, or who has ever lived can benefit from. And all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. Genesis 12 verse 3. How is this even possible that a little nation not much bigger than New Jersey could bless all the peoples on earth? That reason is because from Abraham's lineage we get to the Messiah, Jesus. It is in Jesus that this promise is fulfilled. It is because of Jesus that the offer of salvation flows to every person and all peoples on the face of the earth. If you fast forward to the book of Revelation, there is a scene where John sees people gathered around the throne. Notice what John says, After this I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, tribe, people, and language, standing before the throne and before the Lamb. 
They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands. Revelation 12 verse 9 When God called Abraham in Genesis 12, he had Revelation 12 in mind. He didn't just have one nation in mind, he had all the nations of the world in mind. He chose Abraham, built a nation out of him, which bridges the gap to Jesus. In Jesus, we see the fulfillment of this promise in Genesis, and we understand the result of this promise in Revelation. Notice that people from every nation, every tribe, every language, every people will one day gather around the throne and worship the Lamb. I think it is safe to say this is an example of all the people on earth being blessed through the seed of Abraham. Thankfully, God's promise did not stop with the nation of Israel. His faithfulness to keep his word is not just true for Israel, it is true for you. If you have put your trust in Christ as Savior, then you are now God's special possession. You have been called out of darkness and God has saved you so that you could be a light to point people to Jesus. Like Israel, we were once not a people, but now we are the people of God. Thank you for joining us today on Crosswalk.com, your trusted source for the freshest and most compelling biblically-based content. We're dedicated to supporting and inspiring Christians who are committed to deepening their relationship with Christ. If you found this video meaningful, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel for more uplifting and insightful content. To stay connected and receive updates on our latest videos and articles, click the notification bell icon. You can also visit our website at crosswalk.com for even more valuable resources to help you on your spiritual journey. Remember, your faith matters, and we're here to walk this journey with you. Thank you for being a part of the crosswalk.com community. Until next time, may God's blessings be with you.